Welcome to the Doctor of Digital. Once again, all the ways, the 15 ways to create and develop even more creative writing and developing it. So what we're doing today is way seven. This is creating empathy. You're now hopefully full of creative seeds within your mind after watching drama movies. Keep it going as we move along. Now it's time to begin development on the characters within your drama premise. What's the difference between Hollywood characters and my characters? Mine are real. Quote from Spike Lee. No, it's not my quote. Objective, creating empathy for the characters that will take on the challenges you create. Advice. The key to successful dramas are the empathy we feel towards the characters in these dramatic scenarios. Empathy for your characters offers an added depth to the story, and especially the characters themselves. It is the one trait that keeps audiences engaged because they truly care about what is happening to these people. If the audience doesn't care what happens to them, they are disengaged. Beyond that, a big part of the screenplay success is having characters that attract talent. Most screenplays that get made are those that have an attached name actor or actress that has signed onto the project early on in the process. They found a character that they feel compelled to portray. If you want your story to stand out, you need to create a character that audiences can empathize with. Talent will be looking for that as they read and consider your script. You can create further empathy for a character by adding reasons for audiences to sympathize with them. We feel empathy for young Peter Gordon in The Power of the Dog because he's clearly very different and very feminine in a very alpha cowboy male environment. We empathize with Dunbar in Dances with Wolves because he showcases a kindness that every other soldier around him doesn't seem to have. He loves his new horse that he rode through a barrage of bullets. He connects with the wolf that is curiously stalking him around camp. He doesn't immediately assume that the tribe he has encountered are savages. We empathize with Jules in Pulp Fiction because we see that he's had a spiritual awakening and is about to strive for a better life. Sure, he's a contract killer, but he's been humanized even before his spiritual awakening. Both Jules and Vincent display a camaraderie and playful brotherhood. And in Vincent's story, we see him as vulnerable despite his many flaws and vices as he goes on a date with Mia. It's not enough to just throw any character into a dramatic conflict. We have to care about the characters and they have to showcase some added depth. Exercise. Take your lead characters and assign empathy traits for them. Assignment. Either in a notebook, computer, or device, create a document with the heading Character Empathies. Now list the characters that you want to assign certain empathetic aspects to. If you have character names set already, write their names down. Here are some samples that I'll cover first to give you an idea. Rick Dalton in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. He's a former TV star that is slowly seeing his industry relevance slip away. Ruby in Coda. She loves her family and knows that they need her. However, she also wants to broaden her horizon and experience her own life in a hearing world as well. Will Hunting in Goodwill Hunting. He grew up as a foster child in abusive homes. Try to create characters using this method and apply their empathetic traits to the drama concept you've created. This will begin to showcase the different kinds of conflict that will be present in the script. And conflict will be our next topic for the next way, so be ready. Well, that's it for this particular stage and way that has to do with creating empathy for your characters. And the next time, conflict in every great story has some phenomenal conflicts. Until next time, we'll see you then. Deus Vault.